What's up, you internet marketing savages? This is Dylan or Hatred from AffiliateHustle.com. This video is just a quick demonstration of software I had created, and it's I'm going to be referencing our Web 2.0 tutorial a lot in this video. If you aren't aware of what that is, there's going to be a link in the description going over that. There's also going to be links to Franklin Hatchett's website, OnlineDimes.com, where he has a couple posts about it and how effective it is. Now, I sent this software to Franklin just like a week back or so, and he used it and he said it was pretty much fucking crazy because of how much time it saves um, for those of you that um, have used Scrapebox and our method for finding expired web 2's with tumblr and weebly and stuff um, you're gonna know about um, 404 checks and a live checking and how when you 404 check you're gonna have a list of accounts and you're gonna you know check PR and then you're gonna check metrics and all that shit and you're probably gonna find some accounts that are pretty fucking solid they're gonna say that they're available because that's what the 404 check is but um, 404 checks um, show the same 404 error header code for banned accounts as well as unregistered now what this software does is it checks for that ambiguity and it saves shit loads of time it's pretty much fucking crazy how much time it saves so this is the software I just loaded it up. It's pretty simple GUI. It's nothing too fucking fancy. I told the coder just to make it real simple because I don't need people to get confused when they're doing this. Um, so I have a list of tumblers. You're gonna click load tumblers. Here, I'll I'll start off. Okay, you click load tumblers to start. You have a text file with your tumblers in it. Um, it's gonna say successfully loaded tumblers .t or .txt or whatever you name the file. Now the tumblers need to be in this format. So um, username.tumblr.com with the HTTP um, proxies those are gonna be in username colon port format and most proxy providers are gonna have it like that I'm not gonna open that file just because it has my personal proxies in it um, threads now if you don't know what a thread is essentially it's just the amount of instances that you could run so imagine you have a browser like um, like Google Chrome open and you have multiple tabs this is just gonna this is gonna run multiple instances of a proxy going to Tumblr for these checks. Now, um, most people are, can just get away with 10. 10 is perfectly fine. That's a normal amount of checks. You can get through like a thousand accounts on 10 um, threads easily. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to bump it up to 50 on my proxies. I have 25 proxies in there that are private and they're through actproxy.com. They do a great fucking job as well as instant proxy. They, they're still fine, but Act Proxy has just been, just been doing very well. Um, so I'm gonna hit, all you gotta do is then hit start, and then it's gonna start checking the accounts to see if they are um, actually alive or not. These are so I have a in the in the tumblers I threw in an account which is right there. Um, it's just a random string of use like of uh, characters so that I know it's working and that I know that it's available because this is just a oh we have one I just saw. Um, this is just a random list and I don't know if any of these are actually available and. I wanted to ensure that one was actually going to be available in the checks. Um, so, so far I saw two that are available. So what this does is it's going to Tumblr and it's actually checking for the account in the username to see if they're actually available. Now, if you've 404 checked before, you know that, like I said before, there's accounts that are going to be in there that are like PR6s, PR5s, and they're probably super solid. But the, the fact of the matter is that they may very well be banned. So for instance, I know the account netgear netgear.tumblr.com, so a router brand. That's that's going to be an account that some of you may be scraped before. It's banned. Now it's also a PR6 and it looks great like if you can register it, but you can't. So it's just like getting your hopes up and you're super disappointed that you couldn't register it. So this just gets rid of that ambiguity and tells you whether or not you can actually register these accounts and you're actually going through and you're you have a, a list of accounts that you can just register right away. Now Franklin had about, I think he said 2,000 accounts and he ran through them and he had some real solid ones. He had a bunch that were um, PA35 plus, so that's very solid. Um, another thing that's cool about it is that normally when I sort my accounts, so say I have a list of 8,404s from Scrapebox that I live check with and I load them into this, Normally, I only take the PR2 Plus, like I said in my tutorial, and that's just purely because I want to um, be able to sort through them quicker because there's just so many accounts, and I'm only one person, and I don't want to pay a, a virtual assistant just to run through Tumblr accounts. That's just 
a waste of fucking money, if you ask me. Now, what this will do is it will, I can take those 8,000 accounts that are PR whatever, you know, super high PR down to PRNA, because PR, let's face it, PRNA are still going to have good stats, but I'm also going to know now that whether or not they're available to register or not. So it, it also is a way of sorting that just is 10 times better than I had before because I'm still taking advantage of um, Tumblr accounts that probably do have solid links, solid metrics, all that jazz, and they're going to be able to push ranks, and I'm not losing any of the ones I could have easily registered. Now, once the check is done, it's going to say attack finished, three usernames are available. So we have three accounts in this list that I can go, just go to Tumblr right now and register. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to Google, go to tumblr.com, and I'm just going to, oh, I got one of my my niche tumblers up. I might have to blur this. No biggie. Um, I just don't want you guys seeing the account itself. Um, so we're gonna hit sign up. Um, random fucking email, you know. And what you do after the check is done, you right click anywhere in this this little GUI code box, and you hit export. You can name the file anything you want, so available, and then you load it up. And I had the coder make it so that when you export, it's going to be just the username. So all you got to do is just hit copy. You don't got to, you know, try to fish through the URL and see if you can go through it. So that one I know we can register. I'm not going to do that one. That would that'd be just be dumb. Let's go to this last one, another heartache. And there you go, voila, easily registered. And we know the other one can be registered because we just checked for it. So we can just hit next and then, you know, the account would be registered. Um, so this software I'm selling for $49.99. And that may be steep, but the amount of value that it truly adds is just astronomical. It saves so much time and you're registering accounts that are actually viable for link building. And you're not wasting time with just silly fucking sorting methods like I used to do. And you're picking up accounts that are going to be worthwhile for link building. Um, I'm probably going to advertise this to a couple sellers. I'm going to post it on an affiliate hustle. I know Franklin's going to make a video. We already talked about that. So if you guys want, just just try to take advantage of this and, as quick as possible because um, I'm not sure how long I'm going to sell it for. And I really don't really want it to be too public. I, I want it just with, like, within our community and just to maybe expand, if anything. Um, it's going to be sold on Gumroad, so you can pay through PayPal or, I believe, any major credit card they also accept. Um, I really hope you guys like this software. I had you guys in mind when I made it. It's really simple to use, and it's super, super beneficial. I've, I've used it so many times now, and it just saves crazy amounts of time just for sorting. So, again, this has been Dylan from AffiliateHustle.com or Hatred as I go by. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you want, just comment anything you guys want to see below. Maybe something you want added to it, and I can have the coder work something in. I'm trying to get um, Weebly is kind of hard because you have to sign up with an actual account in order to do the account. Um, Franklin mentioned Overblog, which has a captcha, so I'm trying to like think of workarounds for that. But for now, Tumblr works perfect, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, this is Dylan. Catch you guys later.